Good evening, fam. We got another salacious story to talk about. And yes, we're bringing it here to the family of fair. Yes, let's sit down and talk about it. And y'all know we've been on reality shows for so long and we're going to continue to do those. But as the newcomers come in, we got to kind of keep it fresh. If we're going to do this, come over to Deb Chanel's Four Days World's house got to talk about a lot of different things other than the housewives but housewives married medicine will always be our staple go-to for this channel yes because it's family it's home but we got to appreciate the young people that are in here that's like let's say 20 up to the 30s a group yes we're gonna talk about some of they folks the Nicki minaj followers uh naysayers and all of that i'm sure they in here because we can't just have the season folks up in here we know we got some young folks up in here they like how i cut up and how the family get down let's address some issues in their community as well meaning the young folks sector all right well honey say like Nicki minaj and her young husband yes yeah, she's a cougar her young husband out there ain't liking how this little rap artist i think his name is wait a minute erwer erwer george i were george let's just call him ig okay george okay he's a little rapper performing at trinidad carnival out there shaking their groove things and, and, and getting down how they can only know how to get down but we get this article from capital or ultra or extra yes they giving out a salacious story i guess it's going to be a staff writer that put it out but the title of the article says Nicki minaj responds at the husband kenneth petty spotted pushing singer at trinidad carnival and it came out on yesterday and basically what they're saying uh this ig or george the performer got too close to Nicki minaj you like uh, uh back up give me 50 feet only i get a chance to touch all these goodies honey not you not you yes that's petty up there her husband trying to protect her from all that come to maybe do harm to her and this is the little rap artist Y'all know how to pronounce his name. I don't know, but he's throwing up that Illuminati sign about shush, don't tell the secret. You know how Hollywood get down. So we're going to do a lot of more commentary for the young folks so we can see what's going on and we can show these different signs and symbols that these artists wear you in the music industry, the acting field, the theater, or on these, uh, what do you call it? dehumanizing degenerizing uh of humans on these uh reality shows okay but yes nikki and her husband out there trying to celebrate and george was over there trying to get his groove on with the mixing of maybe nikki giving him a little rap you know to hype up the crowd even more and to put more on his particular you know platform where he was performing giving him a little bit more clout uh, that having Nikki on his float or they're floating around on the float during a carnival and they sitting there getting their groove on. Seems like they was on a damn cruise or something, but I don't know. You know, you got the cruise ships out there too. They be partaking um, of mm -hmm. it as well. You remember we had that show that I was uh, doing reviews on. Shoot with, uh, what name? Kim? What was it? Lil Kim. Uh-huh. I forgot what it was called. But it had Maya on there and Chili from TLC. And I forgot what it was called, but it was kind of, uh, it was kind of cute for, let me see, about maybe four or five episodes, then it got boring as hell, but it just is what it is. But yeah, we're going to go on and get into the story about Nicki Minaj and her friend, me and her husband, trying to rough up somebody because he felt that he was pushing up on his piece of meat. Okay, meaning his property, meaning his lady. So again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please don't hesitate. Come on over here and be a part of the family. We don't do nothing but just sit and talk shit over him. Yes, we do. We love on each other. We respect each other's opinions. But, you know, sometimes we just have to say what's on our mind and we like, talk to me talk to me talk to me talk to me tell me what's on your mind and my bruno mars voice okay <laughs> he had a song i forgot what it was called but anyway something oh that's what i like 
you like that's what I like something like that okay but anyway anyway let's get on on into this story this article it says Nicki Minaj has apologized on behalf of her husband of Kenny Petty after his behavior at Carnival yes I'm like girl Kenny kind of remind me of T.I. and Tiny he always want to tell stuff, do stuff, shove people out of the way. And hell, it seems like he is shoving him away. <laughs> you like, you just getting a little bit too close to me. I can't breathe. And then you try to get to my wife. Oh, hell no. We're going to have to get you, bogart you on out the way. I'm like, now, Patty shouldn't have been doing all that because Mr. George is an artist. Um... Nicki Minaj is an artist at heart too. So any other thing, you should have been on the other side of her and letting Mr. Georgia Hutt get it on as far as the music scene and hyping the crowd up and giving them some a little extra something, something. Okay, while they was partying out in them in the streets because it was a party. It was a celebration. It wasn't like y'all was at a ballroom show and it was an intimate setting and somebody trying to push up on your wife. So yes, I would say Nicki Tell him about your comments and goings like he should already know, but you need to tell him he's affecting your career. Because if you were out there just being out there, okay, that's one thing. If you were out there trying to promote your stuff as well as um, helping George promote his stuff as well, you were in a working business personal relationship that particular day. See what I'm saying? But let's get on into the article. It said, um... Miss Minaj issued an apology over her husband's behavior at Carnival after he was criticized online. Nicki Minaj has spoken out after her husband. We just gonna call him KP, okay? Kenneth Pett is what it stands for. Uh, Face backlash for appearing to push Trinidadian singer Ewer George at Trinidad Carnival. Well, he didn't try, and it didn't appear he did. <laughs> For those who were there with witnessing the event unfold, you know, in front of them. No, he was pushing him. He wasn't attempting to or alluding to. No, he was pushing Mr. George on out the way. Okay, that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, Nicki Minaj, 37, returned to her native Trinidad and Tobago this week to celebrate the annual event. Joined by her husband of one year, the Rapturist donned an elaborate feathered costume for the festivities. Okay, a video from the event showing Nicki Minaj standing on a float alongside Petty while Mr. George performed next to them. At one point, Mr. George reaches over to Nicki in an attempt to get her involved, much to the disapproval of a visible, unimpressed Petty, who puts his George's arm out of the way. Watch the moment from, okay, and they give you a little video clip with him rapping and all that. I may play that at the end, but uh, it didn't really show it, but I did get online and try to find some photos of what they were trying to talk about. And as you can see in the visible visual I gave you, yes, honey, he was, he was pushing that man out of the way and looking all kinds of crazy. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the incident resulted in many people criticizing KP for his behavior and urging Nicki Minaj to check him on it. Okay, like check that ugly girl, check that fool, honey. He don't know what he doing. He messing with culture down him. You better get him before we get him. So they trying to get Nick a heads up. <laughs> like get him in check, girl. We watching you. All right, but going back to the article. It said um, he got to stay home next year. He doing too much, wrote one commenter. Welcome to Carnival, Kenny. He takes his security job a wee bit too serious, another uh, commenter wrote. While another said, first of all, she should have left him at home. And they were meaning this shit because they put that in all caps, okay? And when you do all caps online, it's like you're hollering at somebody. But we get the point. You weren't impressed. <laughs> <laughs> this commenter was not impressed, okay? Then we says, uh, Nikki responded to the backlash by saying, KP doesn't understand anything about her culture before apologizing on his behalf, adding that he's always in security mode. Well, is he your husband, honey, or is he your security guard? It's getting quite questionable because the one that's to the left look like he more acting like a security person than 
your husband, he acting like a jealous-hearted man running around now. Don't want this tall, fine, chocolate brother to push up on you. Because what does KP claim to fame other than marrying you? And you a diva out there with a fan. Girl, bat battery-operated fan. Girl, and all that damn heat. And that costume you had on that was acting for more heat to penetrate your body. Nikki, you know better, girl. You know better. But going back to the article, it says, this is Nikki giving her response. Oh, God. I lose like shit. Ew. I got cuz all y'all. Oh, wait a minute now. I go cuz all you real fucking stink. You know. I don't know what the hell Nikki talking about. This is Ebonics. This is something. I don't know. Help me out, uh, younger fan. What the hell is she talking about? Because it's, I can't, mm -mm. But anyway, they said Nikki wrote that. Didn't understand it. But anyway, going back to the article, it says he don't understand anything about our culture. I apologize on his behalf. He's always in security mode. All love, love my country to death. Love my people to death, period. Okay, and then she added, I should not I should have told him it's a very comfortable family atmosphere. He's not, he's never been to Carnival in his life, not even in Brooklyn, babe. However, some people weren't satisfied by Nicki Minaj's excuse of her husband's actions. But why wouldn't you tell someone you're dating, let alone married to, about your culture and you bringing them there, wrote one fan. And I agree with the fan. Damn, what y'all do? Y'all just got drunk one night? Was that in Las Vegas somewhere? Or Hollywood? Say, so let's get married. And y'all been spending the other 11 months carefree, footloose, and all of that. Girl. Ugh, you're right, you're wrong, Nikki. Tell somebody about your life. Introduce them, not just to your music life and all the lap of luxury you live in, but if you're really down with your country and all this, its comings and goings, especially its festivities of partying, you should have enlightened the brother so he didn't feel like he had to protect what was his because you're not his property. You're his wife. He's supposed to protect you from harm and danger, but damn, you were just getting down, okay, in a nice way. And he didn't understand or didn't know how to take that. So, yeah, you should have had that conversation prior to you getting your outfit, prior to you blocking your schedule off, prior to attending this event. Okay, he probably got mad at you taking pictures with selfies with these brothers, huh? I don't know, Nikki. Tell us the truth. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. Yes, okay. Then we got, we go back to the article. And it says, okay, I don't care. You should have told him as, I mean, and can he not see, can he not see how we operate? Meanwhile, hear that foolishness excuse, said another. So, I don't know, maybe that's Trinidadian type lingo. I don't know, but my fam, educate me on it. Educate me on what the hell Nikki was trying to say in that article of gibberish. But, um, hey, it just is what it is. That was my time to kind of connect with my younger audience, okay? My group from a 20 to about 35 or 30, okay? Tim, what y'all thought about that, fam? Okay, we can get the old season heads up in here, too. They have a little response. They kind of like uh, how Nikki groove or how she talks, she communicates, she interact. Or, you know, you might like her music, you know. I don't get too much in it. I'm still a little Kim fan-based person myself. You know what I'm saying? With that, throw you like this up, that, uh. Throw you like this up, uh, uh. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But, <laughs> I'm all, uh, I am just so all Kim. Little Kim, little Kim. Yes, honey. Mm. But it's just it is what it is. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know. Was Patty was KB being too doing too much? With KP, Kenneth Petty doing too much, Nicki Minaj's husband. Or was he on defender, protector, provider mode? I don't know. Oh, y'all let me know. But like I said, he got a little like T.I. over there squeezing up on time and trying to make, you know, when it had that Meriwether Mer fight. When, uh, what was his name? Well, what a Mer Mayweather, I'm sorry. Mayweather. And T.I. got into it over Tiny because he thought Tiny had spent the night with Mayweather. You know, Floyd, <laughs> I'm like, T.I., mm -mm, that brother no black, uh, martial art and he's a boxer. Man, he would have TK'd on you before you even thought about moving your first fist. 
to connect with his face. He would put you in trash until y'all so slow your roll. Slow your roll, baby. Slow your roll. But get down in the comments, interact with me, and let me know what y'all thought about Miss Nicki Minaj trying to take up for her husband who plainly made a fool out of himself. He didn't make a fool out of you, Nicki. He just made a fool out of himself to show his insecurity, okay? But share this video, like this video, and definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And come back, interact, get in those comments. Tell us what's on your mind. Tell us your observance, your speculation, your opinion on this matter. And I will see you all next video. Good night.